Yes, it is not about what, it is about how. It always is about how. How conscious you are. How conscious you are into doing what you are doing. Next, actually what? This absolute uh, attentiveness. Or if I could say, your involvement, your attentiveness at this point in time, as it is, brings uh, transformation, brings a shift, paradigm shift in your perception. It is in the attentiveness of what it is at this point in time decides the degree of our perception. That's it. So higher the perception, the greater the life. The quality of your thoughts and life become better. It's all about enhancing the perceptual reality. As it goes further up, towards higher dimension, the better the quality of life becomes. That's the secret. So whatever there is that you can afford in your life, if you are not conscious of it, it doesn't matter how much you have, you won't enjoy it. The life would not be enjoyable. Why? Because your presence at this point in time is elusive to what you are doing. Because the presence of this moment is not realized. So this total inclusiveness brings joy, brings us together, brings a sense of life. That's why yoga is much more important because that is the sense of yoga, how to integrate yourself. That inclusiveness is very significant because this inclusiveness is actually consciousness. The more conscious you become, the more exclusive things appear to be. The time Seizes the time shrinks. As the time shrinks, the joy emanates. As the time becomes more volatile, we become turbulent. That's how the human mechanism is. What is this uh, essence of life that we talk about? Usually, um, happens to be. Um, just a talk as uh, people grow into um, more of knowledge or if I could say more into knowledge of wisdom they always expand themselves with the um, awareness awareness of the wisdom we usually end up talking about but what exactly it is one that is stretch never comes back to its originality that's why the need of the hour always is to be able to stretch yourself from the places where there is a sense of fear, there is an element of doubt, there is an element of confusion. That's when the talk of wisdom and the talk of knowledge beyond the perception comes into play and becomes quite effective. Why? Because something which we cannot perceive through our senses, something that is beyond our zone, in a way, comes into our understanding. So we are actually uh, impelled to think a bit differently. But in fact, what happens is, it is not about the understanding, it is about the uh, how we have been conditioned to think in a way. Conditioned to perceive things in a way and conditioned to orient ourselves in such a way that uh, blurs the vision of the solution. Exactly. So, uh, the wisdom of knowledge is actually, of course, understanding, but uh, in fact, it only draws the curtain. It unveils the uh, illusion that has got drawn by unconscious pattern of thinking. And that unconscious pattern is what has become conditioned. So, uh, the very conditioned way of thinking, since the condition is nothing but a set of patterns that has been followed for a long time. So usually what happens is, um, once the uh, curtain of illusion is drawn, you see things clearly. Usually these curtains are very thick and they are nothing, just um, a set of pallets. And these pallets of um, conditioned ideas, which actually keep us in the darkness 
beyond which lies the light. And that light is only one thing, that is the expansion of yourself. So each moment of your life, what is happening is you are being given the opportunity. How we are, at this point, I would like to ask you that wherever you are seated, like I'm here right now having a coffee, sipping a cup of coffee. How am I conscious right now at this point in time? This is the big question, my dear friends. So all the talk of karma, all the talk of going to temples and shrines and all the places of uh, sacred and worship is all great. We shall actually go into those places where there is a high vibrational frequency where we can actually dissolve our matters and attune ourselves to higher consciousness. There are a number of places like that. But most importantly, what makes the actual difference, what makes the difference in absolute distinction, that is how conscious we are at this point in time. Because each moment of your life has this ingrained characteristics of evolution, how things are being perceived by each one of us at each point in time decides everything. So it's not about the place, it is not about what, it is about how. It always is about how, how conscious you are. How conscious you are into doing what you are doing makes actually what this absolute uh, attentiveness or if i could say your involvement your attentiveness at this point in time as it is brings a transformation brings a shift paradigm shift in your perception it is in the attentiveness of what it is at this point in time decides the degree of our perception that's it. So higher the perception, the greater the life. The quality of your thoughts and life become better. It's all about enhancing the perceptual reality. As it goes further up towards higher dimension, the better the quality of life becomes. That's the secret. But uh, we have to dissolve perceptual reality too. But of course, at this point in time when we are bombarded with different streams of information, usually uh, may not be very positive ones which actually sap our energy. It's very important to have our perception enhanced to a higher degree of consciousness how conscious and how subtle your perceptions are your perceptual reality becomes is totally aligned with how gracious your life will be so the secret lies in um, Just sipping up a cup of coffee. Just sipping a cup of coffee and uh, how consciously we are into doing that. So let's say this coffee cost me $20. Well, it's not, it doesn't cost me $20. <laughs> just joking. Okay, it's just let me say in Indian rupees, um, it cost me. 200 Indian rupees, okay? Now, at this point in time, whether I have um, 500 rupees, whether the person sitting in front of me has got 1,000, the other person has got 5,000. It doesn't matter. This coffee cost only 200 rupees. But what matters is, maybe the person who has got 5,000 in his pocket, may not be able to enjoy the coffee. It's worth the same amount, but the person who has got just 200 is able to. Why? Because of attentiveness. Because the quality of his attentiveness, how attentive the person is. So whatever there is that you can afford in your life, 
if you are not conscious of it, it doesn't matter how much you have, you won't enjoy it. The life would not be enjoyable. Why? Because uh, you are just overwhelmed by the fear, fear of the future. But this time, as you sit and sip a cup of coffee, it is not enjoyable because it doesn't matter how much money you have in your pocket, how much wealth you have in your bank account, whatever it is. But your presence at this point in time is elusive to what you are doing. So, of course, the joy of life cannot be measured in terms of your monetary well-being. You could be really well off financially, but the joy of life could be just missing. Because the presence of this moment is not realized. So this total inclusiveness brings joy, brings us together, brings the sense of life. That's why yoga is much more important because that is the sense of yoga, how to integrate yourself. So if you are put into a very luxurious place where there is a flow of everything in terms of the things that you get, but if you do not participate in there, it doesn't exist for you. And how attentive I am also improves the quality of this coffee. How conscious I am while I'm sipping this coffee improves, improves, my dear friends, improves the quality of this coffee. Same with life. How conscious you are doing what you're doing improves the quality of it. There is no any other way. Your mind will take you away from this present moment, take you further into the future because it has learned the pattern of the past which has got this memory, the self-memory memorized. It will always take you further away from this present moment. That inclusiveness is very significant because this inclusiveness is actually consciousness. The more conscious you become, the more exclusive things appear to be. The time ceases, the time shrinks. As the time shrinks, the joy emanates. As the time becomes more volatile, we become turbulent. That's how the human mechanism is. So if you want to improve, Anything in your life, everything improves with your perception. If I could test this uh, cookie, if I eat this one, my friend sitting next to me, right in front of me, in fact, he will also eat it. But the test will differ. But this cookie is the same. But it tests different to different people. Why? How conscious we are. Decides everything. If I could become really subtle, really, really subtle, if my perceptual reality becomes absolutely subtle, even I could feel what time it was made, what was used in making this cookie, who made it, what the person was thinking, all information could be revealed by this eating a cookie. Can you imagine this level of understanding? It goes beyond understanding. What? What are you talking about? Yes, it is possible. And there are yogis in the world who are so subtle with the life energy itself. As they eat this cookie, they could actually know what actually it is made of, who made it, what the person was thinking, what was the surrounding. This cookie can reveal all the information. You may, it may sound really crazy, but it's the truth. <laughs> Even the fragrance of this, everything. This happens because of the inclusiveness. All is possible. As you settle, as you bring yourself at a specific equilibrium, everything around you changes because uh, there is a shift within yourself. Shift in your paradigm, 
अंडरस्टैंड थिंग और इन अदर वर्ड्स पैराडाइम शिफ्ट इन योर लेवल ऑफ फंक्शनिंग यू फंक्शन डिफरेंट लाइफ यू आर मोर अट्यून टू सटल एनर्जीज अराउंड यू एवरीथिंग बिकम्स अ लाइफ ऑल अराउंड यू nothing has a solid form whatever appears appears quite differently even the color and the texture and feel of this wall seems totally different than what these two i can see so let the light be in absolute measure of your perception the quality of your life measures the higher level of your perception but there has to be a time when all the perception has to be dissolved too through the technique of yoga somewhere everything fades into insignificance because you become one with all this is who you are inclusive consciousness all there is is you you because of you all there is om shanti shanti shanti